Uh, come on, Twilight. We're gonna be late for the Nightmare Night Festival! Huh? Are you that one kooky grandpa from Ponyville Retirement Village? I'm Star Swirl the Bearded. Father of the Amniomorphic Spell. Did you even read that book I gave you about obscure unicorn history? Um, that sounds important. <laughs> Every pony, great costumes. Happy Nightmare Night, Granny Smith. I should have been asleep five hours ago. <laughs> Pit Squeak the Pirate, at your service. It's my very first Nightmare Night. Since you moved here from Trottingham? No, my very first Nightmare Night ever. <laughs> Enough chit chat. Pinkie Pie, aren't you a little old for this? Too old for free candy? Ah! Never! Do you like it? Yeah, great costume, Twilight. Oh, you make a fantastic weirdo clown. <laughs> a clown? Look at the borders on these robes. These are hoof-stitched. It's a great costume. <laughs> Grandpa. My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Star Swirl the Bearded is only the most important of the pre-classical era. Yay! He created more than 200 spells. He even has a shelf in the Canterlot Library of Magic named after him. Maybe I should start up a pony group to teach ponies about history. I bet every pony would love it. Don't you, Spike? Mm -hmm. mm. I love it. Hey, look, we're here already. Should we get something to eat? <laughs> Cheerily's house, and we got a bunch more goodies, didn't we, Pip? Sure did. And then we had to stop and wait for Granny Smith, and then we ran away. <laughs> Rainbow Dash, that wasn't very nice. Lighten up, old timer. This is the best night of the year for pranks. Look what you did to Spike. <coughs> oh, it's all in good fun. Oh, oh, there's another group over there. Happy Nightmare Night, Applejack. Howdy, Spike. Hey, Twilight. Nice costume. Thanks. I'm a dragon. She means me, Spike. With that beard, I reckon you're some sort of country music singer. <laughs> well, y'all are here. You feel like bobbing for an apple? Thank you, everybody. And welcome to the Nightmare Night Festival. <laughs> Now, all the little ponies who have been out collecting sweets should follow our friend Zakora to hear the legend of Nightmare Room! Her spooky voice might work better if she wasn't dressed like that. <laughs> Follow me, and very soon, you'll hear the tale of Nightmare Moon. Listen close, my little dears. I'll tell you where you got your fears. Of Nightmare Night, so dark and scary. 
of Nightmare Moon, who makes you wary. Every year, we put on a disguise to save ourselves from her searching eyes. But Nightmare Moon wants just one thing. To gobble up ponies in one quick swing. Hungrily, she soars the sky. If she sees no pony, she passes by. So if she comes and all is clear, Equestria is safe another year. Oh, uh, Miss Sakura, if we wear costumes to hide from Nightmare Moon so she won't gobble us up, how come we still need to give her some of our candy? A perfect question, my little friend. For Nightmare Moon, you must not offend. Fill up her belly with a treat or two. So she won't return to come eat you! desires, not screams of terror. <laughs> Madam Mayor, thy princess of the night hath arrived. <laughs> change her back to good. But it seems like she's having some trouble adjusting after being gone for a thousand years. Princess Luna? Hi, my name is Star Swirl the Bearded. Commendable costume. Now we even got the bells right. Thank you, finally! Some pony who gets my costume! Uh, I just came to welcome you to our celebration. My actual name is... Twilight Sparkle. It was thou who unleashed the powers of harmony upon us and took away our dark powers! And that was a good thing, right? But of course! We could not be happier! Is that not clear? Well, you kind of sound like you're yelling at me. But this is the traditional royal Canterlot voice! It is tradition to speak using the royal we and to use this much volume when addressing our subjects. You know, that might explain why your appearance was met with mixed results. I think if you just changed your approach a bit, you might be met with a warmer reception. Change our approach? Lower the volume? 
Oh. We have been locked away for a thousand years. We are not sure we can. Don't worry, princess. Fluttershy can give you some great pointers. She's delicate and demure with the sweetest little voice. Go away! You can't hear! This year's not welcome on Nightmare Night! Uh, <laughs> Fluttershy, it's me, Twilight! It is you. Oh, and Nightmare Moon. Uh, Nightmare Moon? <laughs> Wait right here. Fluttershy? You remember Princess Luna? Charmed! Likewise. Twilight Sparkle has spoken of the sweetness of thy voice. We ask, thou teachest us to speak as thou speakest. Okay. Shall our lessons begin? Okay. Shall we mimic thy voice? Okay. How is this? Perfect. Lesson over. A little quieter, Princess. How is this? Better, right, Fluttershy? <laughs> yes. How about now? Now you're getting it. And how about now? Yes, well done. I thank thee, dear Fluttershy. Our normal speaking voice shall surely win us the hearts of thy fellow villagers. Fluttershy, you've got to hide us. Nightmare Moon is here and... <laughs> Nay, children, wait! I mean, nay, children, now wait! Come on, princess, time for plan B. <laughs> it is of no use, Twilight Sparkle. They have never liked us, and they never shall. My friend Applejack is one of the most likable ponies around. I'm sure she'll have some ideas. Oh, careful there, partner. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Applejack? The princess is looking for a little advice on how to fit in around here. Fit in? Really? Mm. I mean, <laughs> that's easy. All you gotta do is have the right attitude. Loosen up a bit, be positive, play a few games, have some fun. Fun? What is this? Fun thou speakest of. Pray tell, what purpose do these serve? Try to land the, sp the, sp the spiders on the web. You can do it, princess! Ha! Huh. Your princess enjoys this fun. In what other ways may we experience it? We got the best apples in Equestria here, Princess. I ask that thou call us... me... Luna, fair Applejack. Hear me, villagers! All of you! Call me Luna! Luna! Luna. Show me to these bobbing apples. Whoa! Hey, gals. Any ponies seen Pip? We lost them the last time we had to run... Yes! Nightmare Moon is gobbling Pip's squeak! Backside is whole and ungobbled, thou ungrateful whelp! Fair villagers, please do not back away. Let us join together in fun! Not enough fun for you? What say you to this?
Watch the screaming. No, Twilight Sparkle. We must use the traditional royal Canterlot voice for what we are about to say. Since you choose to fear your princess rather than love her and dishonor her with this insulting celebration, we decree that Nightmare Night shall be canceled forever! <sighs> Shoot. We had everything going our way. Luna was happy. Every pony in town was happy. Now look at them. <laughs> but I wanted to be a zombie next year. <laughs> it's not over yet. What are you gonna do? I'm going to do what I do best. Lecture her! Princess? Leave me be, Twilight Sparkle. Princess, I'm sorry it hasn't worked out how we wanted. But you have to believe me when I tell you that Nightmare Night is one of the most popular celebrations we have. Yes, I can tell by all the adoring shrieks of the children as they run away. Princess. <laughs> No, no shrieking, no squealing or screaming either, okay? There's something I want you to see, and I promise that it's safe, but you really, really, really can't shriek. Do you promise not to shriek? Mm-hmm. Pinkie Pie, you remember Princess Luna, right? Ah, the ringleader of the frightened children. Hast thou come to make peace? my enthusiasm. Come with me. I'll explain everything on the way. Gosh, I never thought my very first nightmare night would be my very last. Come, little Pip. Now don't you fret. Nightmare night's not over yet. We still have candy left to give, so Nightmare Moon might let us live. Yes. Come on, little ponies. What's Nightmare Night without the annual candy offering? You don't want Nightmare Moon to gobble you up, do you? Oh, the rainbow wig just kills it for me. Come on, kids. Doesn't that sound like fun? Goodbye, Nightmare Night. Forever. Citizens of Ponyville, who were wise to bring this candy to me, I am pleased with your offering. So pleased that I may just eat it instead of eating you! I am not certain that did what you meant for it to do, Twilight Sparkle. Just wait. For what? For for them to scream some more? Oh, uh, Princess Luna, I know there's not going to be any more Nightmare Night, but do you suppose maybe you could come back next year and scare us again anyway? Child, art thou saying that thou likest me to scare you? 
It's really fun. Scary, but fun. It is? Yeah, Nightmare Night is my favorite night of the year. Well then, we shall have to bring Nightmare Night back. Whoa! You're my favorite princess ever. <gasps> she said yes, guys. Yeah! See, they really do like you, princess. Can it be true? Oh, most wonderful of. I mean, oh, most wonderful of nights. Dear Princess Celestia, when you first sent me to Ponyville, I didn't know anything about friendship. I met some pony tonight who was having the same problem. Your sister, Princess Luna. She taught me that one of the best things you can do with friendship is to give it to others and help them find it themselves. And I'm happy to report that all of Ponyville has learned that even if some pony seems a little intimidating, even scary, when you offer them your friendship, you'll discover a whole new pony underneath. And even if my star swirl, the bearded costume didn't go over, this still turned out to be the best nightmare night ever. the ponies in this town. Everywhere I went, they were all gussied up and looking at me funny. Kept asking if I was nervous. Did they forget the wedding is tomorrow? No, maybe they're just as excited for us to be married as I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're going to feel awfully silly when they realize they've got the wrong date. Ah, the invitations are wrong! This says the wedding is today! But I got such a good deal on them. Every pony in town got these. The princesses have even RSVP'd. I told you we should have eloped. Oh dear, the caterer, the flowers, the musicians. We've got to move it all to today. What? Where's my wedding platter? You told me you could do it for half what the others charge, and then you sent invitations to every pony in town with the wrong date. <gasps> Muffin? My little pony, my little pony. Adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete to have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? I really messed up on those invitations. I feel just awful, Doc. <laughs> Perhaps that explains why I never got mine. I told Cranky I could get them printed for cheap, but that meant hiring some pony with no experience using a printing press. Oh, I wish there was a way I could go back in time and fix all this. Going back in time is old thinking, my friend. I was working off a cutting-edge theory of making time come forward to you. My life's work, decades, centuries really, of research and experimentation, and I really had it cracked. Turns out there's a magic spell for it. Who knew? But there are so many things that magic can't explain, where science and mathematics are the real magic. Like these? They're pretty. Ah, yes, my flameless fireworks. I never could quite figure out how to get them to ignite. How did you learn to make all this stuff anyway? I've been studying science my whole life. Ever since a particularly traumatic experience as a foe, I've been looking for ways to make sense of the world around me. Science provides explanations of things we never thought possible. Now, uh, why did we come here again? 
Yeah. Oh, because I accidentally sent out invitations for Cranky and Matilda's wedding with today's date instead of tomorrow's. <laughs> Great wickering stallions! I completely forgot, and I still need to get my suit tailored. <laughs> Rarity? Rarity! <laughs> Please! You've got to help me! I lost track of time, unbelievably, and forgot that the wedding is this afternoon! <laughs> Have you seen Rarity? She's got to alter the sleeves of my suit and she's got to do it now! Oh, <laughs> thank goodness. Lead on, my friend. Eh, uh, what if you brought me here? Rarity would never set hoof in. Great withering stallions! They've got style. Gentle coats, I'm facing certain calamity, and I couldn't help noticing your remarkable fashion sense. Could I get the name of your incredible tailor? Oh, yeah, man. His name is me. Me. What an unfortunate name. No, man. Like, I manufacture all my own garments. We all do, man. Then you've got to help me. I need this suit tailored. It's an emergency. <laughs> Sorry, man. We're just about to start the finals. What's this word you keep using, man? I don't know, man, but guess what? A fourth didn't show, so if you roll with us, we'll alter your suit for you. I'm sorry, gentle coats, but I will not bowl. The splits, the spares, there are simply too many variables. Variables? What are you talking about, man? Just throw the ball straight. Hold on. Straight? Very well. I'll try your straight technique. It just might be crazy enough to work. Do we know what they're all about? The way they're huddled up like that, I'd say it's either a friendship problem or a monster attack. Monster attack? Blast! I'm performing at the ceremony this afternoon and I still haven't sorted out what to play. How am I meant to practice with a monster invading Ponyville? Maybe it's just a friendship problem and it'll all be cleared up in a half an hour or so. Uh, I hope so. Where's Pinkie Pie? I need my wedding planner! entire wedding from tomorrow to today. But no ponies asked me to organize anything since Twilight came to town. So you'll do it? I used to be the best organizer in all of Ponyville. You bet up. <laughs> Come on, we better get to the salon before that monster flattens it. <laughs> arrangements today? This is awful! The horror! The horror! So there's no way you can do it? We don't even have Matilda's flowers in yet, much less arranged. Oh, this is a disaster! Okay, thanks anyway. Oh, look, girls! A broken stem on one of the zinnias! What? Oh, the horror! to admit, when Matilda said we needed this place ready by today, I was a little nervous. With you by my side, I knew we'd get it done in time. There is nothing like a best friend, is there? 
anything's possible when you know some pony as well as we know each other. What was that? There's some monster attacking Ponyville or something. What is it this time? A creature from the Everfree Forest? Uh, I think it's some sort of bugbear. <laughs> Did you say bugbear? It found me! What are you talking about, Bonbon? Bon? My name isn't Bonbon. Bon. It's Special Agent Sweetie Drops. I work for a super secret anti-monster agency in Canterlot. Or at least I did until the bugbear went missing from Tartarus a few years back. What are you talking about? When it escaped, we had to shutter the whole agency. Every last shred of evidence of the organization's existence was destroyed. Celestia demanded complete deniability. What? It was me who captured the bugbear. I had to go deep cover here in Ponyville and assume the name Bonbon. Bon. I never thought it'd be able to track me, but now it has. Are you saying our whole friendship was based on a lie? I'm sorry, Lyra. I couldn't tell you for your own protection. But, but, but the lunches, the, the long talks, the benches we've sat on, none of that was real? It was all real. You're my very best friend. I've gotta go find a crowd to blend into before I put you in danger. I'll see you at the wedding. Fine, but we're gonna talk about this later. I need my ring today, no matter the cost. As long as it doesn't cost any extra. Seven ten split, man. Harshest of the harsh. But if you pick this up, we win the whole shebang. figured out how I can help. Your flameless fireworks look just like flowers. I'll use them for the wedding. Great wickering stallions. Wait! Wait! The flameless fireworks are extremely volatile. Without knowing what the trigger is, they could go off at any moment. My word, is that a bugbear? Oh, there are so many things I'm forgetting. I hope Cranky remembers to tell the musicians. Oh, oh, I'll never get my mane done in time. You must relax, my dear. We can handle anything. We once did a pony's hair during the ceremony. Oh, it's true, it's true. They really are the best. Matilda, I've just got to say, I already feel like we're family. You do? Of course! I'm Stephen Magnet, Cranky's best beast. You're Stephen Magnet? Well, what'd you expect, Bugbear? I've known Cranky forever! Surely he must have told you about the time he saved me from Flash Freeze Lake? You're Stephen Magnet. Oh, I know, I know! Typical Cranky to leave out minor details, like the fact that I'm, you know, a sea monster, right? <laughs> I just love that old burrow. I'm sorry, Stephen. I guess I assumed you were a pony. And I had no idea you had such adventures together. Oh, honey, you don't know the half of it. But let me tell you something. In all that we've been through together, the only thing he ever cared about was finding you. Really? Well, that and a baldness cure. <laughs> He is the sweetest thing, isn't he? All the stress I've put myself through, all the stress I've put him through, the only thing that matters is that we're together. The wedding isn't the important thing, the marriage is. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> if you believe that, I have got a bridge to sell you. All these ponies traveling to Ponyville, putting on uncomfortable clothes, sitting through a long ceremony. You think any of them care about the marriage? No, 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 no. Honey, the wedding is everything. All these wedding songs are so standard. I want Matilda and Cranky's wedding to be special. Thanks, 
but I'm not sure that's appropriate for a wedding, is it? That's more like it! it nothing more than the endless search for a cutie mark? And what is a cutie mark but a constant reminder that we're all only one bugbear attack away from oblivion? And what of the poor gator, flank forever blank, destined to an existential swim down the river of life to an unknowable destiny? <laughs> Like that might work. What do you mean you left it on the counter? I thought you were bringing it. Oh, well, this is just wonderful. I handled the gift for Cadence and Shining Armor. You were supposed to do this one, remember? Well, we can't just come to this wedding empty hoofed. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. He always cries at weddings. <laughs> Usually it's not until the wedding starts. These flameless fireworks look even better than flowers. <laughs> Attention, everypony. Our friends have done it. They've defeated the bugbear. <laughs> hey. Hello. So, uh, you didn't happen to mention our earlier conversation about my secret identity to any pony, did you? No, I did not. And you're not the only one with a secret, you know. You know those expensive imported oats you were saving for a special occasion? I cooked them up and ate them. All of them. <laughs> it's sort of thrilling to reveal your deepest, darkest secrets. <laughs> That's what best friends are for. Next time, you can just bring your own gift and I'll bring mine. Fine. There you are! My suit has vanished and this was the only thing left in my closet. How do I look? Like a million bits. Great wickering stallions! Look at the time! We'd better get inside. Allons-y! I can't believe I lost my hair! I look ridiculous. The love of my life deserves better than this! Have no fear, Cranky, my dear! It's Stephen Magnet's mustache to the rescue! Oh, 
thanks, buddy. Oh, no problem. Now you get in there and marry that donkey. Well, is every pony here? Oh, set Mayor. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join these two in matrimony. As I look around this room, I can only imagine how uncomfortable Cranky must be. <laughs> but I also see so many ponies from all trots of life, brought together by love. Cranky searched all across this great land of ours to find Matilda. And no matter what obstacles kept them apart, love would finally bring them together, just as it has brought all of us together now. It's remarkable to me how a story like Cranky's search for Matilda could fill this room with such a unique collection of ponies. It makes you realize that every pony is the star of their own story. And it's not just the main characters in our stories that make life so rich. It's every pony. Those who play big parts, and those who play small. If it weren't for every pony in this room, and many more who couldn't be here today, Cranky and Matilda's lives wouldn't be as full and vibrant as they are. <laughs> and so, in front of all these loved ones, Cranky, do you take this donkey to be your lawfully wedded wife? You bet I do. And do you, Matilda, take this donkey to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Then I'm proud to say, I now pronounce you Jack and Jenny. <laughs> You know something, girls? We are so lucky to live in this town. I love you all. <laughs> <laughs>